for you. I've already been up for about two hours. Just couldn't sleep last night. And the reason being is... Hey YouTube friends, welcome to RK Trader Center. My name is Roy. Well, I got up a little bit early this morning, got myself prepared. Of course, uh, I don't know, it's uh, 6.15 in the morning and uh, I got up and had coffee. I've already been up for about two hours. Just couldn't sleep last night. And the reason being is I have to go to the dentist today. And I went last week and I thought I was getting a little abscess and I kind of, kind of was actually. I guess it was considered an abscess, but it was on a tooth that I had crowned about four years ago and uh, went in and they did x-rays and found out that I actually shattered the root. The uh, root was probably thin um, to begin with. I'm getting older, you know, and uh, so now I got to go to the dentist and today and they're very likely going to have to pull it and I'm probably going to get an implant put in. That's what I'm going to go talk to them about this morning. And I'm not looking forward to it. I just, who likes to go to the dentist and have work done if it's not just cleaning or getting your teeth look pearly white or something like that? Who likes to go? Anyway, I got some orders to pull. That's enough about me. So let's go and pull these orders. All right. So the first order I'm pulling is going to be another one of these awesome sales that <laughs> I did. It's another one of those Doom Untamed Bonehead T-Rex Fingerlings. And I got this going out, out the door, sold it for uh, $4.95, and the buyer paid the shipping. So, that's good. I'm almost out of them now, finally. Oh, that was such a bad buy. I should have never got those. But you never know. When you go out and do a retail arbitrage, you just never know. I have things that sell great, and I have things like this that I think are going to sell, and... I'm still only getting about 95 cents more than what I paid for them. After uh, selling and shipping fees and everything, I'm just breaking even. And that's okay. At least it's better to break even than come out really under. All right, let's go get the next item. And it's going to be in here, and it may be a little difficult to find. I've kind of stuffed this bin a little bit. Oh, no, I think it's sitting right there. Is this it? Yes, this is it. All right, let me set this down. Get the lid back on there. All right, let me get this back over to the table or over here to light where you might be able to see a little bit better. And what this is, is a little Swiss gear shaving bag. I uh, picked this up at a, three, uh, at a thrift store a while back. It sold for $12 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, so the next item that I, I got, I'm gonna go pull is a real good one. Um, it's gonna be down in here and it's gonna be this one here. And that's a good find. All right. So this is a deluxe trial minos, the classic trial mino domino game. Uh, still sealed in the package. New. Picked this up at a thrift shop. Um, I'm going to call this a bolo item, uh, being the lookout item. Let me set it down right here. And uh, the reason I'm going to say that is trial minos, especially like deluxe edition, trial minos is not your normal game. Um, so if you can find a, usually a box of triominoes, even a regular triominoes and they're brand new in the box and you can get them for real inexpensive, they generally sell for decent money. Uh, this one here, I probably paid, uh, I think I want to say about, I think paid two ninety eight, and, uh, might even paid less on sale, but I think I want to pay $2.98 for it and it sold for $18.95 plus the buyer paid shipping. And the last two items are actually uh, viewer sales. And so they're going out to the same person. And if you watch my videos, I always, I've complained a lot because when I go pull things out of these tubs right here, I'm constantly having to move this stuff back and forth. And I don't know why I never skewed these to put them into a tub. I just set them up here. So let me get back to the table. I'll tell you what these are. Uh, and they bought both these items now i plastic wrap uh, a lot of my items like you can see like i did this bag here um not those but like these if i want to keep something protected 
Uh, dust free. I usually keep covers on all my bins, but some of my bins don't have covers or I get into them quite often that I leave the cover off. And this isn't really a dusty place uh, in here. I keep this, it might be a little messy, but I usually keep it really clean. Anyway, so a lot of my items already have the covers on, plus it saves time for me to go ahead and wrap them up later. All I gotta do is just kind of cover them up, put them in, in a bag or a box or whatever I'm gonna ship stuff in. But what these two items are here, and the first one, I kind of hold it in the light at an angle so you can see it. This is a, a yearbook called The Scrapper from 1951. This is a Nashville High School yearbook. Um, and unfortunately, well, unfortunately for you, like I said, I've already got it bagged up, so I'm not going to flip through it to where you can see it. But it was pre it's pretty neat. It's, I love the pictures from, you know, older from older yearbooks. You can go back and look at my yearbook and you'd look at the pictures and I'd probably be impressed with those pictures. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Okay. And what and then this one, what this is, is this is an old book. This is a book called Lectures of Temperance by Elephant Knot. Um, this is a hardcover book. It does have there it is, Knots, Temperance Lectures. Um, it does have a little bit of tape on the binding. Um, it's not in what I would call pristine condition, but overall it's a pretty decent book. And this book is dated 1857. So well, that's the copyright date. So that's a good copyright. So both these books were viewer sales. They sold for $16 and 95 cents together. And they were, I guess you should say viewers. Let me read this note. The note says, hi, Roy. We're huge fans of your YouTube channel and never miss an episode. Love your humor. Thank you, Mike and Denise. Mike and Denise, thank you so much for the purchase. I really hope you enjoy these books, and I'm glad you enjoy watching the channel. Uh, thank you very much for the kind words. It really means a lot. And I'm going to throw in a couple of RK Treasure Center stickers. So I'm going to get these all wrapped up so I can get them to the post office. So I can go to the dentist and see what they're going to do. Oh, I don't look forward to going to the dentist. Who does? Oh, all right, for you, it seems like I didn't go anywhere. For me, uh, it's now uh, 1.15 by the clock on the wall. And I did go somewhere, and I did have a tooth pulled. I don't know. I'm talking okay. The numbing's all gone away. It's very sore, but I did have a tooth pulled back here. And I'm going to get an implant, but it's going to take a while. So, But anyway, you don't need to know about me. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Just in case you were curious or wondered, I'm doing okay. All right, so I'm back, um, and it is now 10 minutes after midnight. I slept today. Of course, you already know why, but I slept today uh, trying to relax and get rid of some pain and feel better. Uh, one thing I was looking at was I was watching TV. Let me turn this light down for a second. All right, that'll be a little better. I'm a little darker in here right now, but I've been watching uh, Colton. That's Colton and his wife's Courtney. This is Redneck Resale, so I'll let you get a good close-up of that. So if you, uh, and I'll put the description, but if you haven't checked out Colton over at Redneck Resale, he's pretty good. Uh, he sells on eBay and Poshmark. I don't think he sells on any platform, other platform. Maybe Macari, I'm not positive, but definitely eBay and Poshmark. And he does a really good job and explains a lot has some tips so if you haven't watched him go check him out let him know that i sent you over there and he's got a lot of good information so the other thing that i've been working on is i had this bucket down here that i got um i pulled it off of, off of up here i've been rotating buckets around and different things trying to work on them let me get this light back on all right that's a little better at least you can see me uh, but i've been trying to work on some stuff i actually did have this floor cleaned up uh, and now it's getting messy again, so I'm gonna have to work on that tonight. So, but I was working on that bucket of toys that I was showing you, some different things. Can anybody tell me why Barbie dolls, and these aren't Barbie dolls, but dolls, and I'm not gonna pull them, but why are they always nude when you get them from the thrift store? I don't know. I don't know. But I picked up a whole bunch of toys in a bag. They were like $2.99. And I've been going through them and listing some of them. And actually, they've got, some of them got some pretty good val uh, value um the one i just got through listing is this right here well actually i'm getting ready to list some some old vintage wooden 
fishing lures. So I was taking pictures of those. But getting back, this is a Dino Trucks diecast car from 2015. Uh, it's a DreamWorks. I, I don't know about cartoons nowadays or cartoon movies or anything like that. But I guess this is Dino Trucks, some sort of kids cartoon or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I was just going to lot a bunch of different stuff together and sell it all at one price. But I thought, well, you know, I'd try to take a look at it and see what they're selling for. And I looked this up and used they're selling uh at auction between 12 and 15 dollars plus about five dollars shipping or they're straight selling them between 20 and 25 dollars i couldn't believe it and this one's in really good condition so i just went ahead and listed this for 24.99 see if i get any any takers um if not i'm i don't mind i'll lower the price down i'll take 20 dollars for it like i said i bought a whole bag of toys for two dollars and 98 cents um, and so far I've pulled out three items that's gonna, well, that itself would, you know, <laughs> what, 20 times, 10 or 10 times the amount of almost the cost of buying it. And like I said, I pulled out two other items and list them already. And again, between those, that one and whatever I listed already, probably give me 30, $35. So $40. So a good deal. So, you know, I'm, I got to learn a lot more about toys. I don't know about toys, but anyway, so that's what I was working on. So. I'm going to get back to that, but I just thought I'd tell you uh, what I'm doing tonight. All right, just putting up some inventory, getting done. I'm about done for the night. I don't want to do any more, but uh, so I just thought I would end this video and tell you all, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it had something good in here. It was a little bit knowledgeable to all the resellers out there. Find it, sell it, profit to all the viewers and everybody else. Take care, be safe, and be kind to one another. Bye-bye.